Hi, everyone. Jeff Cote here uh, with another Boating Tech Talk. We've got a fellow boater um, asking, uh, Daryl asks, Jeff, I've got a Yanmar engine with a 55 amp alternator. Uh, can this alternator be used with external regulator? Uh, does the alternator need to have a conversion done prior to connecting to an external regulator? And do all marine alternators work with an external regulator? Good follow-up questions. Love it. Practically all, if not anyways, most, and I mean most, like 99%. So I'm always leaving a little bit of room for uh, unknowns, but let's not be disappointed. An alternator can be modified to be driven to external field or can be bought that way. Um, and certainly companies like Balmar have them. And there's other companies out there that also make alternators that are driven for external field right out of the box. But if you have a stock alternator on an engine, the reality is most of us are going to have what's called an internal regulator driving that alternator. And it is possible to take that alternator off and bring it to a reputable alternator shop and have the internal field uh, be removed and that they give you a wire uh, that you connect to or post. Uh, and that's a field wire uh, where the external regulator would actually drive uh, or decide the amount of output of the alternator based on multiple variables, uh, could be voltage, could be amperage on the battery, depending on the external regulator. So Daryl's question is effectively, can I change my 55 amp stock alternator to external regulator? Yes. Does it have to be done? Uh, is it going to come with a post for it? No, but you're going to have to get it modified. The other reality is you also have to, not all uh, engine manufacturers are okay with having an alternator modified for external. So you're going to have to decide where you are on your warranty with your manufacturer. Is it worth the risk to you? We've done this hundreds and hundreds of times. I had this set up on my boat. Uh, my boat, my engine was outside the warranty. So um, I wasn't too concerned. And uh, yes, I did end up putting an external regulator on a high output alternator with a serpentine belt. But with a 55 amp alternator, you could still put an external regulator on that uh, to drive it. Um, and the reason why people think about doing external regulars for, for those of you just chiming in and watching, the reality is that, uh, internal regulators are very cautious and underperform. An external regulator is effectively going to probably, I'd say not double your existing output, but it's going to be at least a 50% or even higher output, uh, from your existing alternator, just to have it driven by a smart regulator, uh, that is potentially less cautious, a little bit more aggressive on its output, but it's also fine following a fine line. And so it does so safely. Um, it's just bring more intelligence to your alternator output is basically what it is. So highly recommended, especially if you don't have a generator and your alternator is your only way of recharging your battery banks. And a lot of you might know that our battery banks are getting bigger and bigger. And it's one thing to have a large battery bank, but you also have to worry about the rate of charge. And once you leave the dock, how are you going to recharge that battery bank? An alternator on an engine, even power boaters, some of them don't have generators or one of their generators run less, are going to have high output alternators with external regulators to reduce uh, the battery charge time and hence reduce their engine run time when not needed. So uh, lots of talk about this on the website as well. If you want to geek out, there's dozens and dozens and dozens of articles uh, that we've written and videos on this very topic. Uh, so if you feel it might be right for you, just sort of research a little bit more and maybe you'll find a way to make your boat better. Thanks for all of you for watching and keep the questions coming and safe boating out there. So if you're curious again, go on our website and find out more answers and solutions with this sort of setup. And thanks for asking. And thanks for all of you for listening and tuning in.